Good morning. It's Miss Candace and Mr. Tucker. Uh, my devotional today is um, Fix Your Thoughts, and it's out of Philippians 4 8. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are good, report. If there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. I love that verse. You know, I've said before, I love the book of Philippians. It says, In the world loaded with mixed messages and immorality of every kind, it's become increasingly difficult to have pure thoughts and clear mind. Amen. What can believers do to keep their minds set on Christ? Replace the negative message with a positive message from God's Word. Think about the negative messages that you struggle with the most. Make Maybe you struggle with some, some of these. You're not attractive. You're not spiritual enough. You've made a lot of mistakes, etc. Dig through the Scripture and find truth from God's Word to combat the false message that you're struggling with. Write the passage down and memorize them. Here's a few that to get started. And I've encouraged y'all to do that, to, um, you know, memorize some verses that you can stand on, that God brings to your memory when, you know, you're just having a hard time. Um... You know, just just take you some verses, and it has some. First Samuel sixteen seven, and I'm not going to read these to y'all. I'm going to ask y'all to go look them up. I think that will be good for y'all. Just look up these scripture that I'm giving you. First uh, Samuel sixteen seven, First Corinthians one chapter third. I mean, chapter one verse thirty. Second Corinthians chapter five verse seventeen. And I'll repeat them again. 1 Samuel 16, 7, 1 Corinthians 1, 30, and 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Corinthians is in the New Testament. Samuel is in the Old Testament. The next time that you feel negativity and false messages slip into your thinking, fix your thoughts on what you know to be true. Pray for God to replace your doubts and negativity with His Word of truth. Amen. May we all be encouraged to do this today. I encourage you to look up those scriptures that I gave you. And then the scripture that the devotion is coming from is Philippians 4.8. Um, look up these verses and take you some scripture, y'all. And I encourage you, encourage you, encourage you to memorize scripture. It really does help. You know, when I'm having a hard time, God brings, you know, scripture to my memory. And, um... You know, we're to hide God's Word in our heart, y'all, and the days that we're living in, we really do need to hide God's Word in our heart, you know, um, and memorize and ponder on God's Word and, you know, just be rooted, you know, and grounded in God's Word, um, you know, it's a great title, Fix Your Thoughts. We should all want to fix our thoughts on the Lord. And I know that, as this devotional said, it's hard in the days and the time we're living. There's so much negativity. There's so much people lashing out. There's so much, like, crime. There's so much abuse. You know, elderly, children. I mean, just yesterday, my aunt told me about a man that he... He killed all three of his kids. And, you know, the Bible tells us that kids will turn against parents. Parents will turn against kids. Mothers against mothers. Fathers against fathers. You know, the Bible tells us that people are going to start turning against each other. And I, we're already there. We're already there. And I pray that, like I say, you'll look up these scripture. And if you're struggling today with doubt and, and false negative thoughts, you know, just pick God's Word up. He speaks to us through His Word. Our Bible is our schoolmaster. And it's our sword and our shield. And if we don't know God's Word, we can't, you know, 
recall the scripture that God we've obtained for Christ and and bring that to our memory. He uses that. He uses that. Whatever you have stored away in your memory bank, He you know, can bring that to light when you're having a hard time or a hard day or somebody has hurt you or somebody has said something, you know, um, dealing with grief, uh, depression, anxiety. Um, you know, there's so many things that can bring negativity into our minds these days. And it is it is a struggle. It's a daily struggle, y'all. It really is. Uh, just because preachers and their wives... You know, God don't expect no more out of a pastor and his wife than he expects out of another born-again Christian. He don't expect no more out of me than he does out of you. If You know, if you're saved, he expects the same. Uh, because the Bible tells us and instructs us on what we should do and how we should conduct ourselves. And I want to conduct myself around positivity, um, positive thoughts, uh, devotionals, people that, you know, put out, you know, good gospel singing, um, you know, and that you know that they can be a help for you because they are rooted in the Word and they are rooted in God and they can help you, not just praying for you, but they can help you by saying, you know, you know, giving you scripture. Like I give you a devotional. You know, people can give you scripture. Um, I pray y'all have a wonderful day. And that this helps somebody. Uh, you know, I pray that if it helps just one person, it's worth it. <clears throat> so we're going to close in a word of prayer. And I pray you have a wonderful day. Lord, we come to you, Lord, thanking you, God, for another day. Thanking you, Lord, for your mercy and your grace. It's new every day, Lord. I know I say that all the time, God, but it's so true. Your mercy and your grace is new every day, Lord. I love you. I thank you for first loving me. Lord, I pray for all these prayer requests, Lord, from the laws to the last one that's written down on the prayer list, God, and in between, Lord. You know the situations. You know what needs to be done. I pray, God, that your will be done. Be with everyone, Lord, that's lost a family member, Lord. Be with everyone, Lord, that's going through grief right now, Lord, as myself, Lord. Grief is different for everybody, God. And I pray, Lord, that you would just give us strength, Lord, and that you would comfort us, Lord, with your word, and that you would comfort us, one another, each other, with one another's comments and, and encouragement, Lord, to lift each other up, not press nobody down, Lord. We'd lift them up, Lord, in prayer, Lord. And, Lord, giving them scripture, Lord. You're so good to us, Lord. And we can never thank you, Lord, for all you've done and all you're going to do, Lord. You're so wonderful, God. You're King of kings and Lord of lords. You're Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Lord, I love you. I thank you for first loving me. Give us a good day, Lord. Ask all these things in your precious and holy name. Amen. I love y'all. Have a wonderful day.